Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2024 Ford F-150 Raptor R. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. New for 2024 is going to be the updated headlight and taillight design. Uh, there will be some changes in packages as well. Um, but starting off up front, we have the all new headlight design with your amber accent lights massive ford raptor grill with your raptor r logo on the driver's side this guy does have the 360 degree camera system so your front facing camera is going to be right here you also have your amber indicators to indicate that the vehicle is wider than most vehicles fully metal front bumper with skid plates this guy has parking sensors integrated into the middle portion and lower portion of the front bumper orange raptor r recovery hooks rigid LED light pod fog lights beautiful graphics package on the hood Raptor R applique on the hood as well as you can see those amber lights look absolutely amazing we also have your side markers right here in your oversized fender flares coming down to the wheel and tire setup it looks like we have a uh, simulated beadlock or actual beadlock wheel Looks like it's a BFG All-Terrain KO2, and that tire size is a 37 12 and a half R17. So a true 37 inch tall tire on this guy. Again, more graphics package here. We have some plastic venting applique up top on the quarter panel. And if you look closely, you can see that in this uh, fender flare, it has a built-in uh, splash guard, which is pretty sweet. Bed lined running boards that are cab length mirror mounted camera underneath the paint matched mirror blind spot monitor right there this guy also has the passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver's side or passenger side door more graphics package in the back again side marker on the fender flare massive tuned shocks i believe these are fox shocks i can't really get down in there with the camera all that well but they are uh you can customize the tuning in the cab itself which is pretty sweet updated tail light new for 2024 blind spot monitor is going to be located right in there your ford raptor applique is on the tailgate led puddle lamp for connecting a trailer in low light conditions backup camera is going to be right here you also have increased departure angle bumpers with dual tow recovery hooks that are in the middle of the dual exhaust. Right here we have your seven pin and four pin connector as well as your trailer hitch and then parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. On the driver's side, we have your capless fuel fill port, 91 octane. This thing is supercharged. Keyless entry, as you'd expect with most Ford vehicles. This thing is so hot. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off over on the door, we have this really nice soft leather and almost Alcantara or suede material with this Raptor R red stitching. All of your window controls are gonna be here. Front two are automatic up and down. Mirror controls are gonna be right here, including your power folding mirror. Unlock and lock, as well as your three seat memory. This guy does have the B&O premium audio package. Right here we have your mirror mounted LED lights for the driver as well as passenger. And then this will actually lower the tailgate. Cargo lamp button, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as your dimmer switch for your instrument cluster. Electronic parking brake, power adjustable foot pedal button. Up top we have this nice leather and textured plastic dashboard with your heads up display right there. Like I said, Beano Premium Audio, so you have your speaker here, as well as a nice storage tray in front of that. Coming back to the instrument cluster, it is 100% digital. I love that the automotive industry is moving in that direction. Coming back to the steering wheel now, we have a very soft leather wrap steering wheel with extreme bolsters at 10 and 2. You have your 12 o'clock indicator right here. Oversized metal paddle shifters, which is awesome blacked out Ford logo. Over here on the left side, we have your Raptor R button, all of your cruise control buttons, as well as your gap adjustment and lane keep assist buttons. 
steering wheel mounted audio controls on this side. Over here, we have all the control buttons for the center LCD display, as well as your steering feel, your tunable suspension, and then the exhaust note. I believe this has three or four different kind of exhaust notes from Stealth all the way to Baja. Um, the Baja one, you're not gonna wanna turn on when you're pulling out of your neighborhood because your neighbors are gonna absolutely hate you. You have some more steering wheel mounted audio controls. And then down here, you have the R logo in this kind of almost carbon fiber inlay material. Above the touchscreen display, we have your 360 degree camera system, parallel park button, hazard light button, traction control off button, and then because technically this has the FX4, or based off the FX4 package, your off-road trail control mode is gonna be right there. Push button start, pro trailer backup, massive touchscreen display. This guy is huge, it has wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, navigation, it's got a card system. Um, this thing is absolutely awesome. Below that, we have your integrated trailer brake controller, we have the push button transfer case, two high, four high, four low, and four auto. We have the different drive modes, which when you turn this knob, will change an animation on the LCD screen itself. And then we have a rear locker, which stays locked up until 15 or 20 miles an hour, I believe. All the physical radio buttons are gonna be right here. Then under that, you have your dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated captain's chairs. Heated steering wheel button's gonna be right here. Under that, you have this nice carbon fiber looking uh, storage divider pushed on this silver bar, giving us access to a wireless charging mat. USB, USB Type-C outlet. Coming back here, we have two cup holders, nice pen storage, and then we have this guy, which is your shifter, which goes into the center console because this folds flat. Beautiful, beautiful leather wrapped and stitched Raptor R badging. Pull on this guy right here, gives us access to a flat surface so you can eat or type the stuff you want on this. Lift up on it, giving us access to a massive storage compartment with two USB type C's, removable storage tray down in there, and then a cutout for cord management. This guy has amazing, amazing seats. Extreme bolsters are definitely going to be planted in here when you are going down the trail. This guy has two glove boxes. First one's gonna be right here. Second one's gonna be right down there. Passenger has a 12 volt outlet as well as a 120 volt to 400 watt power outlet there. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be an LED lit vanity for the passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does have a three door universal garage remote. Being a Raptor, you are gonna get the legendary auxiliary upfitter switches offered by Ford. I love that they're actual switches and not buttons, and I love that they are located up on the headliner like that. Behind that, you have your glass storage compartment, adjustable, or I should say, power sliding rear glass window. And then in front of that, you have your LED dome map light master controls, as well as the master controls for the twin pane sunroof. And then in front of that, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, tons and tons of features within this vehicle. Uh, I really wish I had the key so I could turn it on for you and show you how loud it actually is. Let's take a closer look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Tons and tons of storage back here. Before I get in, I do want to point out you do have underfloor storage. Lift these up, you can fold those plastic pieces out and you have storage that is hidden. Getting in is real easy with the running boards and the grab handle on the B pillar. Now I've done enough videos to know that when the seat is situated where it would be if I was driving, I have almost three feet of room between the front of this seat and the back of this seat. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right there. Heated captain's chairs as well as a 12 volt outlet. And then under that you have a media hub with two USB type C's as well as a 120 volt 400 watt power outlet right there. Coming back to this middle seat, it does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And even the seats in the back have the beautiful Raptor R stitching on them. And it almost looks like a, it's like a perforated, um, like light material. It feels absolutely amazing to sit in. And even with the twin pane sunroof, I have an okay amount of headroom back here. It's not the greatest. If there was no sunroof at all, you'd have even more headroom back here. Your LED dome map lights and hanger hooks are gonna be pushed to the outermost portion of the headliner, 
because of the twin pane sunroof. And you're gonna have storage pretty much everywhere, even on the doors themselves. Let's take a quick look now at the bed. So there's gonna be a couple ways to lower the tailgate on the vehicle. The first way is with the fob, I don't have that. Second way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel. And the third way is the more traditional way, you're gonna come up to it, push the button, it's gonna beep at you a couple times, and then it's gonna automatically come down. It looks like this guy does have a spray and bed liner from the factory. It's got one tie down point in each of the four corners for a total of eight, as well as an additional two on each side using the Ford cleat system for a total of eight tie down points. This guy does have LED bed lighting on both driver and passenger side. Driver side gives you a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet. And then over here on the passenger side, you actually have a lockable storage compartment. And there is a gasket here too, so it will keep your stuff uh, dry if it does get wet back here. This is the second generation tailgate. So we have tie down points that doubles as bottle openers on driver and passenger side. Centimeter and inch markings on this guy. Cup holder right here. Pen storage right there. C-clamp positions right here. So if you need to cut some wood on this guy out on the trail or whatever, you can do that. Also, integrated tailgate step. Very easy to put away. You can lift this back up just a little bit and then it will automatically lift itself up the rest of the way. Let's take a quick look and see if they have a towing and payload sticker on this guy. Here's a towing and payload sticker on this vehicle. Keep in mind if you happen to see one on a local dealer lot and it's slightly different, it could be because how it's packaged. So there you have it, 2024 Ford F-150 Raptor R. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content or vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel. Be sure to go over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting all of this content exclusively on that platform first. Also, be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below because it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.